Hello, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at The Sculptor by Scott McLeod. I'll take you through a little bit about the author, um, we'll have a look at the physical book itself, I'll go over some uh, rough points about the plot and also give you some thoughts about whether or not I enjoyed it and how I got on with it when I read it. So like I said, this is The Sculptor by Scott McLeod. Uh, this was written and drawn by Scott McLeod. Um, for those of you who have not heard of him, he um, is a creator I've not been too familiar with other than um, he did the Understanding Comics series of books. I think there were three books that he did that basically gave a bit of a um, rundown about exactly how comics work, how you read them, how the format of the storytelling can work in comics, what things to do or don't. Uh, it's a very uh, interesting read for anyone who's looking to start creating comics. Um, I read, I think, the first one, Understanding Comics, a long time ago now. It's actually presented in comic book form, which is very interesting. So it's actually kind of like reading a comic book about how to make or read comic books. Um, yeah, it's anyone who's interested in that kind of thing, definitely check those out. They're really um, cool to read, actually. And I think it helps you understand more about other comics you might be reading. Um, so yeah, worth, worth a look for anyone who really loves the format. Uh, so obviously, uh, someone who goes to those lengths uh, to write so much about comics is probably a bit of a master of their craft, um, which definitely shows in this story. So the book itself um, is quite a thick book. It's about 500 pages. It's um, actually, well, it's hardcover, but it's not either a standard sized hardcover or an oversized hardcover. It's a bit of a smaller sized trim. So here it is next to a omnibus. You can see it's kind of omnibus thickness, um, but nowhere near the, the size. You can see it's a lot uh, shorter than an omnibus and it's not as wide as an omnibus. Compare it to a standard sized hardcover here. So it's still not quite as wide as a standard sized hardcover. Again, not as tall. So it's a bit of a weird trim size, but yeah, definitely still quite a thick book. It's uh, clocking in at around 500 pages. So the book itself is published by a company called Self Made Hero, which um, yeah, I'd never heard of. I think this is the only book I own by them. Um, I think they're a smaller UK publisher that kind of just um, covers work from various different indie creators. So the interior of the book is not full colour, it's kind of like black and white but with a kind of blue wash that goes over a lot of the kind of middle tones. It's very easy to look at actually, it's not as harsh on your eyes as kind of full high contrast black and white. In fact, you can see here, take the dust jacket off. Um, so it's got the same kind of blue tone on the outside of the book. Um, it's a sewn binding, uh, it has a very nice bind here. The paper quality is nice and thick. So as for the plot, it's about an artist uh, called David who is a successful sculptor um, up until he basically gets uh, the equivalent of like cancelled in the art world. Um, so he falls out with his main investor, who's kind of like a big deal in the art world, and it's kind of like, well, he's now been uh, almost like blacklisted and no one will give him work. So he now has no living family members uh, left. He has no job or money. He's basically at rock bottom. So it's at this point where he kind of makes a deal with uh, death, where he'll be given the ability um, to sculpt anything he can imagine from any physical material using only his bare hands. So in exchange for that, he has to agree that he will only live for another 200 days. So at the end of those 200 days, he'll die. Shortly after making this deal, he ends up uh, meeting a girl called Meg, who you can see here, and ends up kind of uh, falling immediately in love with her. And of course, now he's essentially living on borrowed time so yeah, great timing. The story then explores uh, the finite nature of life, the inevitability of death, the costs of ambition, uh, the idea of a legacy and what we leave behind after we're gone. 
my thoughts about the book overall. So um, I went in with quite a high bar, obviously. Um, I know the guy understands the format really well um, with his work on the Understanding Comics books. Also, the book here has a quote on the front cover from the one and only Neil Gaiman saying it's the best graphic novel he's read in years, uh, which is very high praise indeed. So yeah, I did go in with quite a high bar. And I definitely wasn't disappointed by the ability for this guy to present a very clear story. Um, the artwork's very crisp and clear. Um, the, like I said before, it's not full color, but it's not high contrast black and white. Um, so I found it very easy to look at. The panels and stuff are all different sizes um, and he kind of uses it very um, expertly to tell a story very simply where it needs to be and uses kind of his uh, tricks up his sleeve where he really needs to kind of use the strengths of the format. So a good example of this. So this bit here, um, David gets dragged to a party. So you can see here huge crowds of people. At one point here he's kind of kind of going through the crowd and he's like picking up little snippets of, of like atmosphere and conversation. You can see here the word bubbles are like cut off halfway you know through what people are saying it's kind of like he's just walking through and he's picking up snippets as he's getting closer and there's loud music going on uh, we've all been there where you know where you're going through a very crowded loud environment and yeah just people kind of shouting to each other and you just hear these little bits um, I thought that was dead good um, so that's just one example of, of kind of how he uses the format to its strengths uh, he's also very good at kind of playing with time and getting a good sense of progression um, for either time passing very quickly or very slowly. As for the plot, um, I actually really connected well with the story, uh, even though I think um, the main character is sometimes not completely likable. He's very flawed, um, but his flaws do seem very kind of honest and human, though. I think we all know people who we love that sometimes you just want to give them a slap. Uh, it's a bit the same here with David. I do think it's a very kind of um, contemplative story, um, if that's a word. So obviously um, he's completely aware of the fact that his, his days are numbered and there's this is kind of constant um, atmosphere looming over him where he's kind of, he's really hurrying to try and get um, everything he wants to get done, done. It really does kind of make you um, think about the time you have left, whether you're spending your time balancing, you know, things in the right amounts. I think that's something I can relate to quite strongly. I think those kind of ideas are very universal as well. A lot of people will probably relate to that quite well um, since, you know, we've all kind of got things that we want to try and balance in our lives. It's sometimes going to be a hobby or a job or whatever, but you know, how do you balance that with your family life or the people and the relationships that are important to you? People who are quite personally driven can sometimes end up sacrificing things unknowingly to, to their passion projects or the things that they get absorbed in more personally. It's very easy to do. And I think the points about this book that where it deals with that are, are very well done. So it's about art and sculpting, but like I said, I think the idea is very universal. So hopefully a lot of people will connect with it in the same way I did. Um, that's not to say it's for everyone. Yeah, surprisingly, it doesn't really focus on like the kind of superpower aspect of the story as much as you'd think. It's very much about the kind of grounded day-to-day -day life and relationships and characters and their interactions and just yeah, exploring the larger themes of kind of what it means to create something, to connect with each other um, and to know that one day you're going to die. Those of you expecting some kind of like a guy gets superpowers kind of story, um, it's not really that at all. But when it does focus on the powers and abilities, I did think that it was very well thought out and it does explain some things um, that were quite clever and cool. So I did like that. So it is a very easy read uh, in terms of the storytelling just kind of pulls you through it. It's 500 pages, but I, I read it in a single sitting. It was very hard to put down. That said, it might not be for everyone. People who don't really want to be reminded of the finality of life, um, maybe stay away from this one. Definitely deals with that quite a bit. 
I think as well, it's not the happiest of stories. There's definitely a lot of conflict in here. Um, a lot of kind of things that might uh, bring back memories of bad relationships or elements of bad relationships that I think were presented quite honestly and uh, well in, in the story. Uh, those things definitely kind of um, connected with me. I think overall, I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I went in with a high bar and it definitely was a great read. I don't know if it kind of met my expectations. It definitely um, didn't go the way I thought it would go. But I really did enjoy this book. And um, yeah, I, I recommend it to anyone who uh, wants to see a kind of master at work in, in regards to Scott McCloud. So yeah, overall, really good book. Not for everyone, but you could probably say that about any book. So I'm not going to give this a score or anything like that. I don't know if it's really uh, the kind of thing I want to be doing on my reviews. I'll just kind of figure that out as I do more of them. But I just wanted to kind of give everyone a bit of a sense about what this book is and um, put it in the spotlight so that you know it's out there. And if it sounds like the kind of thing you'd enjoy, then you should check it out. If you've read this book, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching.